All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So hey, I really apologize for not making any videos over the last few days. My plan here is to make a few short ones just to cover a bunch of sectors, and then we'll get back to the normal flow on Monday, all right? So um, I wanna cover SoundHound, I wanna cover Palantir. I'll probably look at NVIDIA, I might even look at C3AI, but I think I wanna focus on those two the most. And really, you cannot look at any of those four, really any of tech, unless you look at the NASDAQ, all right? And the NASDAQ's gonna be a big, big theme on today's video, all right? It's been an amazing year, all right? Let's 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 just not forget what January, <clears throat> excuse me, January 2024, all the way till basically, what, July looked like, right? I mean, this was a beautiful year. It's getting a little shaky right now, all right? And we saw this once before. You can argue it's a little scarier now, but nonetheless, NASDAQ, is the story when you're looking at these stocks right now, all right? So before we do go any further though, and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here, giving me your valuable time, oh, I can't thank you enough, all right? So let's get into SoundHound, and again, I really, really feel like this sound hound, sound hound chart is far less about sound, S-O-U-N, and way, way more about NASDAQ, all right? So um, NASDAQ, comp, comp QX. So look, what am I looking at? I'm looking at a loss of the eight, a loss of the 20, a loss of the 50, and a very scary gap down to the um, under the 100, all right? I'm gonna quickly take back that last sentence I said, because technically, we haven't really lost the 50 just yet, all right? That's a bad candle, that's not confirmation. Those don't count. That's a bad candle, that's not confirmation. That's a horrible candle, dojis don't count. and. You can argue a gap down makes it worse. I have said it so many times. An index, a NASDAQ, an S&P 500, a Dow Jones, a Russell, doesn't matter. An index should only move half a percent or less, up or down, all right? It, it, it basically goes up 0.2, down 0.3, up 0.2. Like, this is a good big candle right here. This was a 0.84 four day, right? Like these do not cross 1%. When you get into one and a half, two, almost two and a half, that's a really, really, really big percentage, again, for an index. So when you're looking at big percentage down, big gap down, and under a line, it was a little cavalier for me to say lost the 50 because technically we haven't lost it just yet. We haven't confirmed it just yet, but oh man, that's just, this looks scary. I think the worst part is look how far down it is. Lose the eight, go to the 20. Lose the 20, go to the 50. Lose the 50, go to the 100. If we lose the 100, we might be talking about a big fall on NASDAQ, all right? And when you look at QQQ, the ETF equivalent, it's the exact same thing. Gap down, kind of just, mm, you can argue those two are, are a little worse back to back, but same candle structure, right? This looks scary. And, and that is what makes, excuse me, SoundHound really, really, really difficult to trust, all right? I, I think it's easy to say we are living significantly better than February, right, before all the NVIDIA news came out. I think it's also really easy to say that people who believe that we were gonna go well beyond 10 and smash all-time highs, this is not doing as well as that expected, right? It's actually literally living right in the middle of better than two and not able to, to crack all-time highs, right? But um, 
it's getting a little worrisome. And I've talked about this $4 line so many times, right? We had the super doji moment right there, a good bounce right there, the even bigger super doji moment right there. And now all of a sudden, I zoomed in too much, the 200 moving average is starting to catch up to this thing. I actually said at this moment here, and I basically said it for all those weeks, I cared more about the $4 line than the 200 moving average during this late June, early July. I think now what I'm seeing is this $4 line is basically gonna become the 200 moving average in, in a matter of days, maybe a matter of weeks, right? I don't know this, like, I'm just guessing the slope. I think at the very latest, it'll be middle of August. It might even be a little sooner than that, right? But $4 is gonna be the money line. And really, I'm afraid it's actually gonna become a death line because if we lose four, that's a scary gap up. That could, like, you know my video, green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 right? Like, I hope for green, green, green. My fear is this is basically green, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. You lose this purple line, you might look at a very scary red, 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 red down, right? Where's the weekly? Oh yeah, let's draw this because there's no reason for me to draw it otherwise, right? I'm gonna put it right there actually in between the two. You can probably say that's the more important line because that's, I'm gonna go in between. I actually never have drawn a, a, a horizontal resistance in between two moving averages. I'm doing it on this one. Oops, sorry, not the one hour. Mainly because of the gap. Oh, we don't even go to, oh damn. The gap's down here and the two somethings. I don't need that line. Yeah, that was the candle I needed to draw. So I think that right there is about half of that line, uh, half of this big candle right here on that weekly. Let's see if that, and that gives us a line in the gap. If we lose four, it's gonna be a very, very fast fall to under three. All right, four has been a very big bounce point three times now. I don't know, I think it would have done it a fourth time. I think the way NASDAQ looks is very scary. Hey, I know it's not an AI stock, Amazon. Amazon gap down so hard on earnings. I know it only looks like an 8% little percentage, but that's scary. And actually during the day it got even lower. Clearly it came back up a lot, but Amazon gapping down that hard is scary. And don't forget, again, I'm just gonna kinda just keep flashing some stuff real quick, I apologize. Tesla had a hard gap down on earnings. Goog wasn't hard, but Goog had a, a, a alphabet, Google, whatever you wanna call it, right? Ad, there are some big, big tech name, not spawn, sound. There are some big, big names gapping down, and that's a that's a scary thing. All right, I haven't even looked at Nvidia just yet, right? But Nvidia looks like the the Nasdaq right now. It doesn't have the gap down because it wasn't it, it it didn't gap down like those other tickers that I just showed, right? But it's sad to see that we're below the the forward split line again. Forward splits are good, believe me, in the long term. You know my videos are short term, right? I never talk long term. This is gonna be a drop in the bucket for, for a monster like Nvidia, right? But hey, even after a forward split, if you lose the eight and the 20, you're coming down to the 50. If you lose the 50, you're coming down to the 100. And man, that same fall is, is, is what we're trying to avoid, right? So um, really, as I look at Palantir, it's, it's almost the exact same thoughts. So I don't even think I'm gonna do a Palantir specific, right? I haven't even talked about the MACD RSI and volume. When I go into SoundHound, I don't even talk about these, right? To me, it's all about what's happening up here with the moving average. And then again, obviously, it's all about what's happening with QQQ and NASDAQ, right? So Palantir, same echo of thoughts, right? As I look at AI, same echo of thoughts. And this one's actually already under all the moving averages and gapping down pretty hard. That's a little on the scarier side, right? BBAI, same thing as AI, right? Gap uh, under, gap down, under, right? Um, Guard Force, was this the one that did well? No, it wasn't Guard Force. Guard Force looking ugly. It was Bullfrog, B-F-R-G. Bullfrog 
is the only one that's like going up and holding. To me, this reminds me of Wolf when Bitcoin was going down and this one was going up. Look, does it deserve to be? Does this, that? I don't care. I'm never here to talk about that, right? This one is holding the 8 and the 20, right? When the 8 and the 20 go up, it's a good thing. When they go down, it's hard to beat. Now, look, I don't know how much longer this is going to go for. I don't know if we're going to break the the 200 moving average, it actually kind of looks like the RSI is trying to reset here. This one's maybe the best in the, I mean, not even maybe, this one is the best in the bunch, but it's such an anomaly and an outlier that, oh man, it just feels a little riskier than it should be, right? But clearly if you can break that 200, and I think that 330-ish line is a good line, right? You get over that and I'm gonna believe that the, the 200 broke. Man, it's a green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 nothing, 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 nothing could be a fast move up to five worth the watch probably one you want to keep your finger on the mouse when you uh when you make that trade all right but it's a it's a scary sector right now there's not there's not too much more to say right i'm never here to say buy the dip buy the i never say buy sell hold right i do say acknowledge the fear use the fear correctly it's because of the fear i don't touch the hot pan I'm not trying to act like a hardcore tough dude and touch a hot burning pain. No, right? I'm going to listen to the fear. I'm going to not burn my fingers and I'm going to smile the next minute, right? So fear is okay. Fear is good. Fear protects us. Don't forget that, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Hey, I appreciate you so, so much.